Each team has $10 to make me the best dish that they can. Three, two, one, go. You guys only have 10 minutes. 10 minutes, so $10. I'm thinking like cheap ramen. Get yeah, pretty fancy. Just some like pho, like with the broth. Add some egg. Bamboo. You only have $10. That's yeah. it. Bro, how do we get that with $10? Where's ramen? Let's get ramen first. Yeah. We can put brie on the burger. Brie works on the burger. How much is that? How much is that? Uh, $8.49. Yeah, no. Should we look at burgers first? I feel like the burger's yeah, probably the most important bit. Thirty-nine Ooh. cents, bro. Thirty-nine that cents. That is mad. That is so chili true. flavor, probably, right? So that's like eighty cents. Are you guys worried about your competition at no. all, or no? I don't think they know how to cook. Charlotte <laughs> <laughs> like, cooks the care. same meal every night: chicken, <laughs> asparagus, and potato. Bro. Okay, that will work. We need <laughs> eggs, but like we need one egg, for, like two eggs. Should we just pocket them. <laughs> no rules, bro. It, it, it just needs it. to be under ten dollars. Kind of incriminating ourselves. <laughs> Before the challenge started, Jarvis and I were already pretty confident in our ability to beat Charlotte and Hannah. The issue is that Nikon's only given us $10 to cook the meal, so that definitely limits our ingredients for the dish. I'm hoping we can both be creative enough to make this work and impress Nikon. Burger. Oh, how much is that? $6.99. But you know the glazed one? And like remove this. Probably. I feel like that's a bit more yeah. fair because this is more normal. Yeah. Well, the challenge didn't start off too good for Hannah and I. We couldn't really decide on what to make, but instead of wasting more of the little time we had, we just decided to go with a burger. I know Nikon loves burgers. There's right. about seven minutes left. Green onions, yeah. 59 cents, bro. That's that's a, that's good. No, no, no. I don't think we need anything else. Chop up some carrot, it'll be good. Oh my god. Hannah, let's get a good one. Slice it over. Yeah, right. And then just put a burger in between there. Oh, what about one of these? I think that would be really fun. For a good ramen, what would you recommend? I actually want you to just eat the noodles plain, um, but what you got looks like really good. All right, thanks so much. That's great. You're welcome. Cheers. Do you guys think you're going to beat the other team? 100%. I, yeah, yeah, I'm really confident it. now. I think the donut makes it interesting. 100%. Yeah, and then it keeps us within budget as well, for sure. Is your total going to be less than $10? Hang on. So far, yes. We've got the donut so for 99 cents. 99 cents. And then plus, how much was this? $4.99? All right, guys, we got to be low key, but I think we have everything. The time's nearly up. We got broth, we got chicken, we got egg, we got ramen. Hopefully, we haven't gone over the budget. Let's go. You guys have 45 seconds left. Okay, let's go. We got to go. Let's go. Okay. $2. Okay. Are you guys happy with the ingredients you got? So happy. And, uh, it could have been better, but within the $10 budget, like, yeah. I think we smashed it. Is yeah, it still it. better than the other team? 100%. Yeah, theirs was really bad. Are you guys happy with what you chose? We're, We're happy. We kind of went over. We spent $12, which means you so, cannot use these eggs. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I saw nice. the other team. They knew what they were doing. Are you guys worried uh, at all or not? Nah. 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 Wait until they're cooking and see, see what happens. The grocery shopping is done. We're back in the kitchen. Fraser, Jarvis, what did you guys get? We're making ramen. 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 Ramen noodles. Okay, okay. Hannah, Charlotte. A donut burger. Donut burger. Did you guys both stay under $10? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did. It was really sad. All right, three, two, one, cook. You have 60 minutes. I don't know what you're going to be making me with sprinkles, ground beef, and whatever's in that brown bag. From the ramen, which has chili flavor. Saving money. You can, really, you can really make chili with anything. Usually people cook their noodles in water, but we're going to cook it in the broth so that sweet taste is absorbed into the noodle. So the ingredients we've got, we've obviously got noodles, we've got some spring rolls, we're going to add that in there. We've got a little chicken, mushrooms, carrot, chicken broth. Yeah. Do you think the marinade is going to taste good on the beef? I've got no idea. I've never cooked before. Charlotte doesn't cook it. Shut up. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Mean, <laughs> this is kind of smelling fire. Guys, it's smelling good over here. Anna and Charlotte told me that they're making a burger, but they bought rainbow sprinkles. I did say, guys, you need to remember creativity, taste, and presentation. So maybe they're being creative with the sprinkles. I don't know. It's a little odd to me though. And also, if you guys don't know, you have access to anything in the kitchen. Spices, utensils, pans, all that kind of stuff. You just can't add any other ingredients. That's looking pretty good, Charlotte. Thank you, Nikon. She can cook. They kind of actually might know what they're doing. <laughs> Everyone stop. It's time for the first challenge. All right, listen, if you can guess this question correctly, you get to go into the pantry or the fridge and pick one ingredient to add to your dish. How many bones are in the human body? Bro. Wrong. I'll give you a hint. It's over 200. 250? 260? 270? What'd you say? 60? 265? No. 260? 250? 250? 250? Did she get it? 206! Hannah got it! Hannah got it! Hannah won the challenge for her team, so I'm giving her 10 seconds to choose an ingredient. 
This could really end up helping them out. You got truffle, maple syrup, Ooh, Nutella. Maple syrup? I feel like, yeah. Maple syrup? Maple syrup, yeah. Okay. They had the opportunity. They didn't even have any ingredients. They got the opportunity to get ingredients and they picked maple syrup on a burger with sprinkles. Wait, it wasn't even bread, it's a donut. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Creative who? Creative us, creative me, creative girls. It does look fire, honestly. Yeah, but hasn't it got to taste good? <laughs> Just focus. It does have to taste good. Just focus on your own stuff. Yeah. How do you think you guys did? I think we smashed it. Yeah, I think we've done really, really yeah, good. I, think I feel like what ours lacks for in ingredients, we definitely oh, make from creativity. Yeah, There's just a little bit of boring it's so side. It's boring. There's yeah. just nothing there. How much do you think Nikon is going to rate your dish? 10 out of 10. Maybe yeah, like 20 out of 10. Yeah, it could be an 11 out of 10. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah we're going to smash this. They're the stars of the show. Mm, yeah. For sure. We're the underdogs. All right, everyone stop. Pause. It's it's time for the next challenge. You guys, between you two, need to decide who is going to be blindfolded for two minutes. I'll be blindfolded. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> so Jarvis and Hannah. All right, Jarvis, you're being blindfolded. Frazier has to guide you. If something happens, it's Frazier's fault. You're just having him hold the bunch. <laughs> you're almost there. Keep going, push! Push it! Push it! No. Yeah. You got it. That is dangerous. <laughs> that was rude. God, there's a lot of going on in here. All right, guys, the time isn't going to stop, but it's time for the next challenge. Since Jarvis and Hannah are both already blindfolded, I'm going to give you guys each something to taste, and if you guess it right, you get out of eating something spicy. All right, listen, I'm going to give Hannah cottage cheese, which I don't think anyone really likes, and Jarvis is going to get creamy Alfredo. Let's see if they guess it. If they both get it right, no one eats the spicy stuff. All right, Hannah, you ready? I think so. Just well, open your mouth. Oh my God. Uh, oh. Do you know what that is? Is that cheese? Yeah. What kind of cheese? I don't know. Is it cheese though? Yeah, it is cheese. She got it right. It's cheese. cheese. It's cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Yay! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jarvis, come here. Come here. Here. <laughs> this way. This way. <laughs> don't give me some weird shit. All right, ready? If you guess what this is, you don't need to have anything spicy. Bro, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? You don't know what that is? Is that like gravy or something? No, not gravy. One last guess. One last guess. He doesn't know what it is. You're getting something spicy. Yeah, I actually have no idea. It's creamy Alfredo, which means Jarvis has creamy to have Alfredo. something spicy. All right, Jarvis, open. What? It's a shot. What? <laughs> no, you're right. I gotta do the whole shot. Yeah. Yo, what the f Yo, what is in this, bro? And then the blindfold comes off. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> it smells good in here. I don't know what I'm, I'm smelling. Donuts, meat, mushrooms, and broths, but everything looks good so far. While the teams are finishing up, I think it's only right to cause some chaos in the kitchen. It's time to reveal the mystery box. This should be interesting. Are right, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. What? Oh, what? eggs? Are we supposed to cook with that, bro? We got whipping cream. I needed an egg. Water and an egg. All right, Frazier, what one do you want? Definitely an egg. You want an egg? We need yeah. an egg. What? You need an egg. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, oh, what? oh, it got on me, bro. No. I didn't need an egg That's like one that. egg. I don't know if I want that. Why did I say I wanted cream, bro? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We got a little bit of whipping cream, and the water is just for me to take a sip of. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for the last challenge. I can either take an ingredient away, or one of you guys is gonna have to take a spoonful of something that I choose. Spoon. Who's taking the spoonful? You are? Yeah. And you are? Yeah. All right, well, I already have what I'm giving you guys in my pocket, and it's a spoonful oh, no, of Marmite. <laughs> That's good. That's good, yeah. That's good. All right. They wanted to save their ingredients, so they have to have the nastiest thing in this planet, and I don't want to hear otherwise. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, the smell of it just makes me sick. <laughs> and on your nose. <laughs> is it sh**? <laughs> Guys, there's five minutes left in the competition. It's time to start preparing for the presentation and the taste test. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed. For $10, what I'm seeing in front of me so far, I thought it was gonna be much worse. So we'll see how it tastes. That's what really matters. Charlotte and Hannah are done. You have 30 seconds, hurry up. Let's get the broth in. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. The presentation is staying there. You're running out of time. You're running out of time. Three, two, one. We're done. You're done. All right. All right. All right. Woo! Guys, what'd you make me? The cheeky, naughty donut burger. The cheeky, naughty donut yeah. burger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Creativity wise, it looks pretty good. I don't know if I would ever eat this, but try I'll try it. Try it first. Uh, <laughs> 
Not bad. All right, next one. First impression. Wow. Just the amount of food and also the presentation is on point. I know you're a big guy, so. Really good. You gotta eat a lot, you know? Up. So we got noodles, mushrooms, carrots, green onions, chicken. Yup. <laughs> All right. Come on over, Charlotte. That's a good look. <laughs> I've made my decision. And it wasn't easy, that's all I'm gonna say. Listen, for $10, you guys both did very good, but at the end of the day, I think the winner just overall is gonna have to be Fraser and Jarvis. Yes! Oh but listen, you guys suck at creativity. There was nothing creative about what you guys did. And I will give you guys all the points in the world for being super creative. And honestly, I know it doesn't look the best presentation wise. It didn't taste that bad, would I ever eat it again? Absolutely not. I would dog that ramen any point of the day. So that's why they won.